All right. So this is going to be my first time using this uh, XTC 3D stuff, and it's normally meant to um, uh, smooth out your 3D prints so that you don't have to do a lot of post-processing work to them. And because I want this piece to be extra, extra special, I want it to be really, really smooth, um, I decided to just go ahead and do a shitload of post-processing post to this already. I hit it with some paint and primer, sanded it, hit it with paint and primer again, sanded it, and I've got this thing like almost really smooth. It has the almost, it's slightly smoother than I would say carved wood, like a wood carved piece. So I'm actually very happy with how this turned out, despite not having used this stuff uh, before. So, first thing I'm going to do is put on a little face mask. I don't think this stuff is going to smell really strong, based on what other people have said, but if I've learned anything about other people, it's to uh, never trust them. So I'm going to wear a face mask anyway. We'll see what's in here. Ooh. Okay. And there's a part A and part B, so you got to mix them together. And, uh... Oh, there's some instructions in there. I already know how to use this stuff, but let's look at the instructions anyway. Here, I'll put our cups there like that. Uh, cure time in mass, pot life in mass, 10 minutes. So you gotta be pretty quick putting this thing, or that's in mass. Mix ratio by volume, uh, 2A, 1B. Mix ratio by weight. Hmm. I'm going to be using weight because I heard trying to do this by volume is a little tricky because one of the solutions is a little bit, it's more viscous than the other one. It doesn't flow, so it likes to just cake up like icing, which doesn't help anything. What I should probably do, I should probably plug that camera in because I think it's going to die in like a second, but it doesn't matter. So, from what I gather here, it's for every hundred of that, you use a little bit under half of that. So for every one of this, a hundred, you use a little bit under half for the other one. And we can figure that out on our scale here. It's the, the the ratio is very similar either way. It's very similar. Okay, let's go ahead and open up our baggie here of our chemicals. XTC 3D. Ah! Oh, it comes with a little cup. I thought this was a lid. It, it actually comes with a little measuring cup, but we're not going to use this. I got these two disposable cups because I, you know, could use this for other things. Uh, this is the one that's more fluid, and I heard it's the smellier one. This is the one that's a lot more viscous and harder to measure. Well, it actually comes with a popsicle stick and a, uh, a brush and all that stuff, but we're not going to be using that. We're going to use our own thing. Um, and I guess you can apply it with this brush, but I've never applied this before. I, I've got two brushes here. Kind of just in case, I have this like bristle brush, and then I have uh, some sponge brushes. So I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what we can do with this. So what are our instructions? Do I need to shake this up, or is it good to go? Let's see what this says. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, 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 okay. It's a one part B, two part A. Fuck it, let's just, um, let's just get right into it, you know? We'll, um, let's eyeball it. And hopefully we'll be in a, we'll be in a good way. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's open. Alright. So it's one part this, two part the other. 
Let me figure out how much I want to use first. Let's get the uh, the big one done first, and then we'll do the other. It's interesting they have a little spout, so we'll pour it in here. Oh wait, wait! I almost forgot something, something very very important. Gloves. 